Today, we're going to seal the wood deck surface on my trailer with motor oil. I'm going to answer a lot of questions I get on this and show you exactly how it's done. So this right here is one of my trailers and it's been dry for a couple weeks now so no rain's got on it. The wood is as dry as it's going to get and I need to seal it up before winter because as soon as winter comes this thing sits outside. The entire winter is just going to be covered in snow and ice and it's just going to soak into it and it's just going to rot the plywood. Um, the same technique that I'm going to show you works just fine for a 2x6. You know, if you have 2x material for your decking, you just got to make sure it's dry. Um, the oil doesn't like to soak in if you still have green lumber. So if you have a newer trailer, you need to wait 2 years, 3 years for that wood to completely dry out for the oil to soak in. And you can see I've done it before on here. It's You can still see some of the remnants of the oil. They haven't, you know, I probably did it heavier back there, but it soaks into the material. It never actually washes away. It just soaks in deeper and deeper and deeper so it's not visible on the surface. So we need to do another coat. Um, first coat I did, I actually sprayed it. This coat, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pour it on. And I'm going to talk a little bit why I use used motor oil versus just a store-bought stain, stuff like that. So for this, all I'm going to use, this is just motor oil I've pulled out of my cars and lawnmowers and stuff like that. Just used black motor oil. Why wouldn't you want to use new motor oil? Why would you use new motor oil? This is used, it's free. It, it does a great job. You know, we can't get great things like creosote and other stuff like that for preserves wood forever. This is about the closest we can get. And this is gonna do an excellent job of making this trailer deck essentially last a lifetime. Um, why I don't use commercially bought stains, I have bought stains before. And here in, I live in Utah, in the desert, the sun just, the dry heat of the summer just kills any sort of stain and if you can you can put any sort of pigmented stain on a trailer deck uh, on a horizontal surface like this a year year and a half later and it's completely gone it's flaking off peeling off and it comes in ugly colors it comes in you know that you wouldn't want on a trailer it comes in you know oranges and reddish brownishes that don't really lend itself to what a trailer should look like you don't want that on a trailer in my personal opinion so that's why i use motor oil cheap it should be free if you don't have access to use motor oil then i guess just go buy a stain but all we need so this is just i pour it in this big jug so i'm just gonna drench it do a soak coat just soak it out and use a paintbrush just to kind of move it around no spraying i've done i have other techniques where i show you where you can spray it um, you have to thin it out with something like a diesel fuel which is just an oil um, to actually get it to spray out and that works good for getting in nooks and crannies and under surfaces because this stuff is it's messy I would not do this on your driveway where you don't want oil drips at all because you'll get oil drips Do put cardboard or something around the edges it also does the it has a benefit of you know I have metal cross members along this seam stuff like that and over here where water is going to seep in there and the wood is going to hold water directly against the metal and cause corrosion rust this I'll soak it down in there and it's going to seal that surface between that metal and the wood and lower the chances of it rusting in there. question I get is the trailer deck slippery well yeah with wet oil it is but once it soaks in absolutely not it's not slippery at all you can run you can jump on it you can pull vehicles on it stuff doesn't slide around the wood itself actually when wood gets wet the grain actually expands and it creates actually more traction um, whether it's a two by four or something else like that but if your two by fours are green they're still wet yeah then the oil won't soak in at all and just pull up on the top and it's gonna be slick as snot but Dried out wood, not at all. There it took me about 10 minutes. And you see this already soaking in really good. So if you got really wet spots, just kind of take the paintbrush and push them over to the dry spots and just move it around. And now we just let it sit. Obviously don't do this the day before it's gonna rain, something else like that, because once it soaks in, it's never coming out. It's not gonna wash away. The rainwater isn't gonna put this into your groundwater. 
It's not gonna do any of that. It's gonna sit in there and stay. So just to show you what it looks like after months, this one I did about six months ago. I actually, about a year ago, I replaced the um, decking surface because the original plywood, the water just completely rotted it. So I just put on regular plywood, just cheapo, cheapo plywood, not marine grade or anything else. And about six months ago, I completely sealed it with oil. I, over a week period, I put on three different coats of oil and soaked it all in. The, the wood can only hold so much and then once it's saturated with oil, it's gonna hold up for life. But I mean, it's not slippery. The, the surface doesn't transfer oil off. It's, it'll hold up. The water still beads up on it just like you want. Awesome, it'll hold up for the life of the trailer. It's mostly dry after about 20, 25 minutes. There's no oil transfer. Um, there are a couple little wet spots still, but all those will soak in. For this 12 foot by eight foot deck, I used about a gallon and a half of old oil, six quarts or so, and that'll seal it up good. I won't have to do anything probably won't you know it's not something you'd want to use tomorrow but let it sit a day or two and it'll completely soak in it'll be completely dry where you don't get any oil transfer on anything and it'll be back ready to use sealed from water sealed from moisture sealed from sealed from all the elements and you know the deck will last a lifetime over the life of it I like to do about three coats like I said three coats of this stuff so did one about two years ago this is the second coat and I'm going to have to do one more coat in about five years, maybe seven years, somewhere in there. You know, the wood can only hold so much oil. And so I just have to wait for this to, you know, it takes time for it to soak in and soak into the middle layers. And then, you know, maybe it'll hold just a little bit more. Maybe not. That might be the end of it. But thanks for watching. Questions below? Let me know. See ya. Bye. Okay, get the scent. Smell it. Okay, you got the scent. You ready for it? You ready for it? Get it. Oh, good job. Okay. Good here. Okay. You got the scent ready? You ready for it? No? Oh, we got you fooled. Come on. Get it. Sniff it out. Come on, get it. Got it.